<laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so yeah, got another update. Hemi Swap Jeep Renegade. Went ahead, got the limited slip differential, or uh, LSD from a Hellcat. I mean, it probably comes in other stuff too, but uh, went ahead, got that painted up. Got the subframe painted. Went with some uh, Dodge Charger F8 green. There's probably any Dodge, but yeah, it's uh, should be a good indication of the color combo I'm going with. Gonna end up painting the Jeep this green. I don't know, I just really like green. And everything else gonna be that gold. So I guess we'll go ahead, put the rear uh, subframe in, bolt the diff in, and then start putting uh, all the rest of the suspension on. So I have all new adjustable linkages, and oh, got new axles too. So uh, throw those in as well. Yeah, the ones that came out of the charger when it wrecked, it got hit on the uh, rear passenger side and ripped one of the boots. So I figure might as well replace it anyway. Go ahead, throw this in the Jeep and uh, see what happens. So I got the rear diff bolted in, subframe mounted to the uh, frame. Uh, frame's still not welded to the Jeep, but I mean, it's sitting here pretty sturdy. I mean, it hasn't fallen out yet, so <laughs> should be all right. Yeah, I do need to get that welded in, but uh, I guess right now, I'll go ahead and start putting the suspension components back on. So that's all the upper lower control arm, toe arms, all that stuff axles you know but uh yeah we'll get going on that all right all the rear suspension went ahead and replaced everything so picked up these everything built aluminum and I, I got everything set to the factory length right now uh, just referencing the the uh, stock parts so should be able to throw these on and from there I'll be able to dial in the suspension you know uh, I'm really not sure where it's gonna sit uh, as far as ride height based on body to ground of the charger versus the renegade I think I got the frame sitting a lot lower than it did on the charger but uh so I mean I'll just have to tweak everything but uh, also got some tires I uh, went with some uh, 305 3520 s they're actually the uh, factory spec for the Hellcat wide body. Uh, also using the Hellcat wide body wheels. So, and Hellcat diff. Figure everything will work better that way. Or, you know, <laughs> it'll look better. Uh, and, you know, I, I just really like that wheel setup. I don't know. And, uh, but yeah, I guess I'll go ahead, get back outside, and start putting the suspension back on. All right, so I'm just getting set up out here. Uh, getting ready to bolt everything onto the rear end and I figure I'll just go through kind of break down what I got I got mostly new hardware uh, except for still have the stock uh, alignment uh, eccentric bolt I'm really not sure if I'm going to use this now that I have all the adjustable rear links so I may be able to just replace these with a uh, uh, you know standard bolt and uh Went ahead, picked up a bunch of Nord lock washers. I don't know if you're familiar with these, but it's just a two-part serrated lock washer. Uh, I don't know. 
pretty good, you know, high quality stuff. Eh, figure. Wouldn't hurt throwing that on as well. Went ahead, got the factory lower. You know, just painted gloss black. Should be good. And got my spindle, knuckle, whatever you want to call it. And new Mopar hub. And one, uh, one little tip or trick I find. Uh, really important step. If you get new axles, you got to paint them like a barber pole. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing but uh i yeah so i get a uh, guess guess i'll go ahead start bolting everything in uh throw it up and see what it looks like So uh, went ahead, got wheel bolted on, and uh, let's see what it looks like. I mean, got to drop it down. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it sits down all right. Nothing hits, nothing gets in a bind. I mean, it shouldn't, but I mean, you never know. So let's go ahead, set her down. That's as low as it's gonna go on the lift. So I'm sitting sitting on the arms, but pretty good clearance. I mean, tire will fit from where I clearanced out last time, possibly. 
I'll probably have to cut some more. Uh, either way, as long as I don't get above the body line, it should be all right. I mean, even if I do, eh, oh well. Cool. All right. So now I just have to make a upper spring mount or bag mount, you know, whatever. And damn, <laughs> it's actually turning out to uh, kind of look like something. See up in there. I mean, yeah. Oh shit, I can't see anything. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know why I'm doing all this. It's all gonna be hidden. So, I mean, we'll know it's there. But I mean, casual viewer, no one will ever notice. Uh, just see a wide body, see the wheel, and that's about it. It doesn't stick out too far. I was kind of hoping it would stick out more, but you know, maybe three, four inches. It's not too bad. But, uh, yeah. All right, so I guess now I just got to throw the other side on, and that'll be it. Uh, be it for the uh, the rear end. I think that's it's gonna be it for. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the rear. Uh, just got to go on. Start doing the floor, start doing the firewall, and do the front suspension, front frame, engine mounts, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we st still got a ton of work. Just won't think about it right now. But uh, yeah, made good progress today. Got the rear end bolted up, and that'd be a pretty, it's a pretty good ride height. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get it a lot lower. Um, I mounted the rear frame and the diff to where if it laid body, the diff wouldn't drag. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably getting a little too ambitious, but uh, if I did want to go that far down, I'd be chopping into into the body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. But, uh, <laughs> all right, one last clip before I call it a day. Went ahead, put the passenger side all together, and uh, that's a wrap. That's it for the rear end. Uh, yeah, I guess no more procrastinating. Got to go ahead, uh, jump on the front. Eh, here's my five gallon bucket uh, counterbalance, cause you know, <laughs> got a whole bunch of weight in the back. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's a wrap for this video. Go ahead check out the next one should have maybe the uh floor firewall uh we'll, we'll see what happens <laughs> not gonna get too ambitious but you know uh that's all that that's all i got left really uh floor firewall engine mount i mean that's it won't be too much longer till this thing's on the ground hopefully you know but uh all right that's it thank y'all for watching appreciate it